Krishna, I'm Yogi, I'm from India, I'm 27 years old and uh, I got into Kung Fu about two and a half years ago when I uh, went to Wei Shifu's previous school. I spent uh, 13 months at the previous school and had an amazing experience and I've wanted to be back here ever since so that's why I've decided to come back here for a month. Like you're a kid and you watch martial art movies and you always wonder how it would be to, to go and do it and study it every single day and do only that every single day for a certain amount of time. I was wondering if there's a, there was a way I could do it and then, like most other students in the school, I just looked up on Google and the school seemed to have come up and among this school, maybe three or four other schools came up and I got in touch with them to try and understand what they do exactly and this seemed to be a little more suitable for me because one, uh, the Chinese language barrier wasn't there because they had translators here. The food was uh, a little more adapted to people around the world. So I, so I guess it was an easy way to start and get into it. It's like a platform to start. And I actually came here for only uh, three months the first time. I ended up falling in love with it, extending it to six months. At the end of six months, I still didn't want to go back home. I extended it by another six months. I hadn't finished my last form, did another two months and then I finally had to get back to work and I had to leave but from the time I've left the school I've been waiting to come back. Yeah, that, that, that's how I feel about it. And uh, coming back to this new facility, it's a change for sure. The, the previous facility was a little more hard. Uh, it, uh, it was a rude awakening when you first came into it but when you look at the new school it's amazing, it's like it's, it's almost like a hotel, it's very luxurious and uh, I guess the training is still the same so that's, that's the most important thing for me and uh, living in the mountains, running up the mountain for power training, climbing down the stairs face first in your hands, it's a good life, it's, uh, it's different from what you do every day back home. Uh, the thing that I like the most, at least now, is uh, the nunchucks. I didn't get an opportunity to study it at the law school because I was concentrating on Kung Fu. But when I went back home, I got myself some nunchucks. And I used the same discipline that I learned at this school. I think uh, the biggest thing that I, I learned in this school is to be disciplined with myself. So I practiced nunchucks for a year and a half before I came back here. And now with some of the masters, they've helped me refine my forms a little bit more. And I'm glad I came back here for this one month because uh, I got the opportunity to relive all the things I have done before. I got the opportunity to go over the things that I've forgotten and relearn them. Also, it gave me more clarity being away from school and coming back to know what I truly like about Kung Fu and, uh, and how I want to live my life doing Kung Fu. And besides that, I think the relationship with the masters uh, is quite unique actually because uh, they are so different from what we'd call normal people because all they've done in their life has been Kung Fu since the time they're five years old, 365 days a year. Kung Fu is all they've done. So when it comes to training in class, they are very, very strict and very, very disciplined about what you do. Um, outside class, some of the masters tend to be friends sometimes. Some of the masters tend to be more serious and remain your master outside uh, class. So. It also depends on the, the bond that you share with your master and how hard you work. If you're lazy, you're not going to get anything out of it. Your masters are here to guide you, but you are one of the students in their class and at the end of the day, your development is based on how much work you are willing to put into it. I would definitely recommend this place but uh, if you're coming to China on a holiday and you want to see some Kung Fu then you should go to the Shaolin Temple and take a look at it there because if you want to come to this school, it is hardcore. Coming from regular life of 
having either no exercise or being able to go to the gym one hour a day is very very different from waking up at 5.30 in the morning and training for 6 to 8 hours a day. I can't wait to be back, today is my last day at school and I'm quite upset I'm leaving.